Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1. Now this works for the iPhone 4 GSM model only, iPhone 3GS new and old boot ROM, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well as the 1st generation iPad. Now the reason why it doesn't work on the iPad 2 is because both the Shatter as well as the Lime Rain exploit are patched for the iPad 2. So this is really simple and really easy to do and it is with the newer version of Red Snow. Now I made a video a couple of days ago talking about how to actually again jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 using Red Snow. However, Red Snow has been updated since then because there were issues with the iPod Touch and the iPhone actually having the option to change what you wanted to do with the side switch similar to what you can do with the iPad. So they fixed that and they fixed a couple of other minor bugs as well as actually implementing uh, customized boot logos. So in order to do this, just follow the link that will be down below in the more info, and it will have all of the written instructions as well as downloads there. And once you've done that, uh, all you really need is the newest version of Red Snow and your firmware on your desktop. So we're just going to open up the Red Snow folder and then simply run Red Snow. Now, once Red Snow's open, it will ask you to browse for your firmware. And obviously, again, we placed it on our desktop, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. It is right there. It is the iPhone 3 4.3.1 Restore. So we're just going to select that and open that up, and then uh, it will finish identifying it, and now we will continue and it will just simply patch the firmware so we can actually jailbreak it. And also too, if you wanted to enable customized animated boot logos and you are already jailbroken on iOS 4.3.1 using the earlier version of Red Snow, then you can simply run this straight over it. If you want to run it over it, just make sure that you uncheck install Cydia and make sure that you do check allow boot animation. So that's all you have to do to actually enable boot animation and it just gives you uh, a simple quick tutorial right there and it just says with this option enabled you can install boot animations from Cydia. Don't forget to select your desired boot animation with settings and then boot logo. So we can just click OK to that. And if you are already tethered with Snowbreeze on 4.3.1, then you can simply just run this straight over it and it will provide for an untethered jailbreak. So what I'm going to do is simply have install Cydia and allow boot animation checked. We're just going to click OK to this message and then we will continue. And it says to make sure that your device is both off and plugged in. So I have my device plugged in and I'm just going to go ahead and do this ahead of time. What it's going to ask you to do is set your device into DFU mode. Mode. So I'm just going to go over this with you guys really quick. It's super simple. All you have to do is just hold down the home and power button together and you're going to do this for a total of 10 seconds. Now once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button and you're going to want to hold the home button for roughly 20 seconds. Now once that 20 seconds is up, you can go ahead and just let go of the home button and you are entered into DFU mode. Now keep in mind DFU mode you just get a black screen. So uh, it doesn't give you that iTunes logo with the USB plugged in, just to let you know. And then just click Next, and it will start to give you the steps to enter DFU mode. However, it'll instantly skip past that because, again, we did that prior to it. All right, so now I'm just going to leave my iPhone up to the screen and show you guys that it is uh, doing the jailbreak process as we speak. Okay, so now it's done on the computer, and it is just continuing on my iPhone right here with the scrolling text. And again, this is just the Lime Rain exploit, in case you didn't know. And that is the reason why it does not work on the iPad 2, because the Lime Rain exploit was patched on the iPad 2. So I'm just going to set my iPhone down, and uh, we will just wait for it to finish. Alright, so it finished with the scrolling text, and now it is just installing uh, the bundles as we speak right now. And uh, now it is finished, and now it's just going to go ahead and uh, power back on. And once it is rebooted, I will just let you guys see that, again, 
I am obviously jailbroken on iOS 4.3.1, and I forgot to do this earlier, so I'll just go into settings, general about, and I will prove to you guys that it is indeed on iOS 4.3.1. Alright, so there we go, it has booted back up, and I'm just going to unplug it, and I'm going to show you guys that again, it is on iOS 4.3.1, so inside of settings, the first thing you'll notice is the personal hotspot feature, and because I am on an iPhone 4, that does come with iOS 4.3.1, so uh, there we go, I do have the personal hotspot feature, and also if I go inside of general, and I go to about, then it will indeed say that I am on version 4.3.1, so, I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And if you liked it, just be sure to subscribe for more great videos. So, again, I really do hope you guys liked this video and I really do hope it helped. And also, just a really quick side note, if your Cydia is just a white icon, then what you want to do is just reboot your iDevice. Or, if Safari won't work, then again, just reboot your device. So again, here is Cydia running on my iPhone 4, 4.3.1 with an untethered jailbreak. So until next time, this is ICU, signing out.